So this is my last chance to engage with you. Well, I'm going to London, so we consider London a hardship hosting. Uh, but I'm going, uh, I'm going on promotion, so I will be uh, moving uh, upward and moving to a much less sunny climb than this one. So I'm being replaced by Jeremy Gore Bedford. He's currently our Consul General in Atlanta. Uh, I'm in regular contact with him. He's very excited about coming here to Chennai uh, and looking after South India and the challenges, but also the opportunities that this part of the country presents. Uh, I am proudest of, I think, the trade and investment. I see us doing uh, great work in terms of working with companies both in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. We had a very good year in terms of high value uh, partnerships, high value investments that we created, which are creating mutual prosperity. I'm really pleased that we've helped UK companies set up important businesses here. So we work very closely with very big groups. So, uh, and I'm really pleased that we've increased the number of students who are looking, targeting the United Kingdom uh, for their futures. You know, I always say that education has been the bedrock of our, our relationship. And I think once again, we're seeing growth in that education sector, uh, good quality Indian students who are traveling to the UK to some of our best universities, and bringing those skills back to help transform India. So I, I have lots of things I look, on, look back on very fondly. So I, I, I genuinely think that on balance, there are more opportunities in terms of our relationship for India than there are challenges. Uh, I think there is obviously uncertainty currently for companies that are either investing or are looking to invest in the United Kingdom because our future trading uh, relationship with the rest of Europe is still to be t determined. So that will become clear over the next few months. Uh, I've loved every minute. I've actually, I, I think everyone here who's seen me before knows how much I love uh, being in India, uh, this I come. I came from being an ambassador to five countries because I wanted to work in the country of my origin, and it's been such an experience for me. I loved being in Chennai. I didn't know South India at all. Uh, South India has just been an eye opener. Uh, some of you will have seen that Prime Minister Modi was in the United Kingdom last month. He attended the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting but also had uh, bilateral meetings uh, with our government, and that included two meetings with the Prime Minister. He had an audience with Her Majesty the Queen. He was one of only three heads of government who had that, and the only one who was not uh, a part of a realm. A number of bilateral agreements were signed, uh, including a commitment to further our technology partnership. One billion dollars of uh, trade uh, announcements were made during that visit. Uh, and discussions around uh, our uh, bilateral security and foreign policy relationship, around um, cyber security and how we can cooperate together uh, more in that area, about how we can facilitate trade and investment between to both of our countries. Cricket, actually, I think, saying we undervalue cricket. It's such, uh, it's almost this kind of hidden part of uh, what binds us, uh, and even when we get beaten, I think they, I think British people are quite proud actually sometimes when we get beaten by India. <laughs> India and England play. I am conflicted in a sense. I don't mind who wins as long as it's a good match. Uh, I, and so you won't see me. I won't be wearing a shirt of any particular colour. <laughs> My family. We were the only Asian family for 20 miles in any, in, any area, in any direction. And so I was the first non-English, non-white child to go to any one of my schools. And my brother was the second, and literally. So we, and my experience was of growing up and trying to be like my friends and trying to be very English. And that changed when India won the World Cup. In 1983, that changed. And I started to become more Indian and engage more with my Indianness and start to read Indian history, 
Uh, and so that's a big part of what has brought me, not just to India, but a, a big part of what has made me want to become a diplomat, and made me want to engage with the rest of the world, engaging with my own Indian history, engaging with my culture. So.